Starts out with the nylon string stuff. Which is the uh, seventh fret of the B string, the uh, fifth fret of the uh, E string. It'll be the same shape, but just move down uh, three frets uh, with the ring finger on the fourth. The ring finger on the fourth fret of the B string, and my first finger on the second fret of the E string. Cindy's a top short, but he's not playing the low E. He, he actually does one of the times he does it, but he just kind of the first time. So it's like. It's real casual almost. And then it's. I'm getting this note. This would be the harmony here. Bar the B and the E string on the fifth fret. And the second harmony would be this. Bar the fourth fret of the G and B strings. Let me get some light over here. It's kind of dark in that. There you go. my ring finger on the fourth fret of the B string and first finger on the second fret of the E string. Stop playing that low note. So what you got? What he's doing here is he's tremolo picking a, a Phrygian scale. He, he picks a little thing at the beginning of it. Okay? Like this. Open E string. Uh, ring finger on the third fret of the B. Back to open E. That's the first part. Open E. He goes to this position here. And he's taking like this. Like that. 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 What you gotta do to do this, I don't know if you gotta do this type of picking, you kind of arch your wrist, like that. Mandolin picking too. Eddie may have those in the eruption when he goes, like that, okay? We're just going down a scale. Okay, now you can give me the notes of that real quick. Not 
does it kind of sloppy too. I do like this maybe a like that. So you gotta kind of keep the tremolo going across the string. That's it. Just like going like this. Just like that. That's all I still. Okay. And uh, let me give you that real slow. Play that real slow so you get all the notes. Just a frigid straight down. Okay, then you use this chord here. It's like taking this G chord and moving it up to the 8th fret. Because that for a long time. Okay? It's, it's actually a C, it's a C chord, but that C chord will work out through this one here. So there's open strings ringing, it sounds really cool. Get to the heavy part. It's just a C power chord. Second fret of the B to the open B, second fret of the G to the open G, second fret of the D to the open D, straight down. There you go. Let me check the riff here. I, I know the riff, but let me double check myself. Alright, I was right. Okay. It goes like this. Okay. So. Yeah. We'll start right here. Uh, we'll the fifth fret. First finger on the fourth, pinky on the seventh. Middle finger, first finger, pinky, back to middle. So take a, break it into little parts now. First finger on the fourth fret of the G, back to the pinky on the seventh fret of the D. I do the fingers I'm doing because he's sliding. You can hear the slide real clear on the album. Which the next riff would be the, the next two notes would be the middle finger on the G string, fifth fret, to the first finger on the fourth fret. Then do that. That's what he's doing. Which means slide to the seventh fret of the G string once you get finished that. That part. Come back down. Do that again. Fifth to the fourth fret. Do the same thing on the D string. Uh, fifth fret to fourth fret on the D string. So play it real slow. Beginning of it. Now, 
goes on to this next. <laughs> Just a, like a little power chord. First finger, ring finger on the sixth fret of the G, pinky on the seventh fret of the B string. Up and down, arpeggiated. That is a really cool thing, it goes below the octaves to, to another fifth note, which would be the fourth fret of the A string. So it's So it's real slow to be. And with the fingers, it'd be first finger on the fourth fret of the D string, ring finger on the uh, sixth fret of the G string, pinky on the seventh fret of the B string, back down to the ring on the sixth fret of the G, first finger on the fourth fret of the D, first finger on the A, uh, a uh, string, fourth fret, and back to. Uh, the first finger on the D. Right. And then back to the ring finger on the uh, sixth fret of the G string and the pinky. So all together it's this. Right. So we have. Okay, that leads us into this part. Standard F major bar chord, A, A power chord, B with the third on top, you can hear the third. Okay, and the solo is a bunch of uh, volume swells at this point. of the uh, B string. On the small that, pinky on the the sixth fret of the B string, the eighth fret to the fifth fret. Okay? Fifth fret of the B string, so excuse me, sixth fret of the B string, eighth fret of the B string, fifth fret of the B string, so the third fret of the B string will be next, and the fourth fret of the G string. Okay, that's the first couple notes. Put it together. 
I'm going to get rid of the volume knob here just so we can learn the notes here. Middle finger on the, as I said, on the sixth fret. You just do this. Which be the fifth fret, third fret of the B string, and the fourth fret. I think he uses a, uh, I'm really sure he uses a volume pedal for this, not the, the, the volume pot on the guitar. It follows up with this, the same thing, but it's all step down. Okay, so you got middle finger on the third fret, first finger on the first fret of the B string. And then the ring finger, excuse me, on the third fret of the B string, uh, first finger on the first fret, middle finger on the second fret. So all together. Okay, the next up, uh, little swells are these here. Okay, we've got our ring finger on the 10th fret of the B. And the first swell is the 10th fret, the first one is the, and it's the second one is the 8th fret of the B. We've got 10th fret of the high E string, to the 8th fret of the high E string, so it's the next string and then on this string, and then it's the 7th uh, fret. So it'd be without the volume now it'd be Seventh fret to the tenth fret of the B string, then going back down to the B string, and then the eighth fret, and then back to the tenth fret. And there's all your swells. The next thing is this kind of a jazzy thing where you slide into a note instead of bend the note. Okay? And it's like this. <laughs> Start on the uh, seventh fret of the D string, go to the fifth fret of the G string, and then uh, seventh fret of the G string. Give me your first three notes. And then you start here on the ninth fret of the G string, and you slide out your ring finger from the ninth fret to the seventh fret. And then play, pick the first uh, finger playing the fifth fret of the same string, the G string. Of the G string and then come down with 
the seventh and the fifth. And the final slide back into that again. So real slow, we got. And then next we have. second, uh, the seventh fret of the E string. Up a half step. Like that. So, bending there. Then we have first time on the fifth fret of the E string. Pinky on the 8th fret of the B string and then down to the 1st finger on the 5th fret of the E string. Pinky <laughs> on the 7th fret of the G string. And then we play this twice. Just pinky on the eighth fret of the B string to first finger on the first fret of the on the fifth fret of the B string. And G string on the seventh and fifth frets. Do that twice. So all together. Fourth fret, the fifth fret, with the first and the middle finger on the G string. Fix every note. First finger, middle finger, first finger, ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string. So all together. Super slow. Now we have this. Oop, let me sit down and play it right. That's it. Uh, first finger on the fifth fret of the B string. We pick the uh, fifth fret of the E string twice. Then five times we pick the seventh fret of the high A. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five times here. Twice on the G on the G note, the third fret of the, of the high A. And once on the fifth fret of the E, uh, e string, high E. And twice on the fifth fret of the B. With the middle finger, ring finger here on the E, and then uh, middle finger here. We got this now. That's the next set. Pick the, the 13th fret of the high E twice. First, uh, 12th fret with the first finger. Same string. Okay, so 13th fret with the middle finger, first finger on the 12th fret of the A string, ring finger on the 15th fret. That'd be the ring 
same thing on the 15th fret. So I'll play it real slow. You can play along with me. And then the next set of notes would be this. Which should be the first finger on the 12th fret of the high A. Going down to the ring finger on the 15th fret of the B. 13th fret of the B. And then 12th fret of the B string. This on the high E, 12th fret, first finger. The second is ring finger on the 15th fret of the B string. And then we change. So first finger uh, on the uh, 12th fret of the B string, with the middle finger going into the 13th fret of the B string. And then first finger on the. 12th fret of the G string, and ring finger on the 14th fret of the G. Ready? Sorry, Paul, thank you. You want to slump? Yeah. You want to over here? See, 